you become like an older brother, second father, second mother, older sister to these athletes. They, they rely on you so much. You, the bond that you can create with these athletes is, 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 is incredibly strong. And it's a big responsibility. So you have a responsibility to do right. You know, there's always, I always tell these young coaches, there's two paths you can follow. You can follow the path of being a leader or you can follow the path of being a follower. And there are no rewards in being a follower, none whatsoever. But being a leader doesn't mean walking around that pool deck saying I'm the boss. Being a leader means taking a stand for what's right. Yeah. And that's sometimes very difficult for a child to do. So that's where the coach has to be able to come in and say, I'm going to take a stand for what's right. I'm going to do what's right for you because I believe in you. And one of the big things that, you know, my coach always did was he eliminated the NT words from his vocabulary. There was never a don't or won't or can't in his vocabulary. So it was always can, you will be able to do this. You will be able to make it. And uh, for me, it helped a lot. And that's what I tell the coaches, believe in your athlete and be positive. Uh, 